Hello everybody, welcome to Technic Tuesday. Today we're going to be making a double time card, which is also a variant on the spotlighting card, which is what I did in my last Technic Tuesday video. As you can see, these pieces go together, but it's been brought out to be at the front. And you can see how the flowers, all the petals of the flowers follow on with where they would have belonged if they were together, but it's raised and it gets spotlighted. It's not very complicated. It's really just a case of cutting. And the times when I've done this in the past, I've actually stamped these parts, but because there was this delicious designer series paper to be used, I wasn't going to uh, pass by that opportunity to be even faster and cuter. So let's get started. It needs a piece of cardstock four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half that's the standard fits in an envelope size of card you then need a piece of well either stamped everywhere basic white or this handy dandy piece of designer series paper which came from the delightfully eclectic the big bundle of designer series paper that's in the current catalog and this is four and a half by three and a half I then got some daffodil delight paper which is four and a quarter by four and three quarters and this is three and a quarter by two and just some little pieces this is a half inch wide and this is three quarters of an inch wide but it really just depends on the greeting that you use and I also wanted to put the little banner notch in the end the original video I was going to show you had a square here but it hid too much of the lovely flowers and I didn't want you to miss out being able to see how they follow on so a thin greeting where it didn't really matter so much was more the order of the day so without further ado let's get started I'm going to bring in the paper cutter because we need to cut the designer series paper and actually I think I'm going to do it this way up so what we need to do is put the four and a half inch length and I'm going to line it up at three quarters of an inch over here. And then we're going to cut from one and three quarters up to the top on both sides. I'm going to need to stand up, which will put me closer to my camera. So hopefully you don't think I'm just yelling out directions suddenly. So we'll line the paper trimmer up with the one and three quarter mark just here and the good thing about the stamping up cutter is you can just push the blade in at one and three quarters and cut to the top and then we'll flip it over and we'll line it up again at three quarters of an inch we'll take the blade back to one and three quarters push it in and cut up and then we've got two cut lines that are one and three quarters down so now if we turn this to one and three quarters on the paper trimmer we should be able to easily cut between these two cut lines line one up here push the blade in and go up to the other one and that should remove the piece so we'll flip it back over to the side that we need and i will sit myself back down so I'm not yelling quite as much or giving the impression that I'm yelling quite as much. So I need the paper trimmer back because what we need to do, because they're all going to have a quarter inch surround, we need to cut a half inch off the legs, I would call these. So we're going to line the back of the piece of designer series paper or cardstock if you've one step stamped it. And we're just going to cut off those two little half inch pieces. Don't need those. Those are literally legitimate scraps because you know me and I like to save everything. So now what we're going to do is we are going to attach these pieces. Bearing in mind, we have to remember that this came out of that hole. So we need it to be oriented the right way so we don't lose the idea of it being spotlighted. So this we're going to stick to here and it's got that 
quarter inch surround and then this one we are going to attach to its piece with its quarter inch surround and then that's the, that's the two quarter inches mathematically why we cut the half inch off so it moves over and it fits so that's the pieces we now need to just stamp the greeting and i'm actually going to use let's celebrate which came out of sentimental park because it's a nice long and thin and although this is the daffodil cardstock i'm going to use the crushed curry it's just a little bit of a darker color and it shows up more on the white cardstock so Daffodil Delight for the cardstock, crushed curry for the ink to stamp. Let's celebrate. Here we go. That wasn't exactly the most complicated stamping project, was it? So what we need to do now is cut the banner. And to do that, what we do is trim it off as deep as you feel you want your banner to be. Cut in the middle and then cut from each edge to that middle cut and it leaves you an equal little border and then what we'll do is we will well actually you know what let's be brave let's stick it on so whoops so we'll go ahead and we'll stick this onto the piece of three quarter inch daffodil delight Trim that off just a little, cut up the middle, and then cut from each edge up to that point. Oh, I've got like a little fleck of cardstock. So that's it. Now we've got. The ingredients so we'll bring back in the body of the card and we will attach the big piece and we're going to put it more over to the left of the card make sure it's nice and even and then we can see that these pieces all marry up with their partners of the flowers and then we'll attach some dimensionals to the back so it lifts it up I know when I did the circle one previously I said I didn't want to put dimensionals on because it was such a small area to try and highlight but this is a nice big chunk of a size so it will work so now we're going to line up the flowers with their petal partners so we can see these ones match the circle of the flowers match and we can press those into place and then last but not least we're going to attach the banner greeting which like I say I did long and thin because I didn't want to obscure any of these pretty daisies and then we'll just put a little bit of sticky oops, on this edge we don't want to put a dimensional over here of course because it would be double high it's already on dimensionals where this will go we just need to add dimension so that can just stick down and then this needs dimension to hold it up to the same height as these ones and that's it how quick and easy was that it's fabulous it hardly took any time at all it highlights the designer series paper although like I say you can do like a one-step stamp where you just stamp randomly and cut your cardstock down if you like what you've seen please consider subscribing I like likes that keeps my algorithm busy so I can bring more videos like this to you if you don't have a stamping up demonstrator I would absolutely love to be your person you can find all the details at my website or my email address is below in the description box below in the description box is where you'll find all the directions and the dimensions for these projects and all the cutting so you don't have to go back and keep saying oh how much was this and how long was that so it's all laid out for you so 
that's it thanks so much for watching